Hello and welcome back to the Mining Pod. It's just me this week for a news roundup as Matt is off skiing. Hopefully he's having a good time on the slopes. We're going to dig into a few news items this week, including CleanSpark, executive compensation, Blockstream raising $125 million, Hut8 going to court against its energy provider, Celsius Mining storing a bunch of units, and Marathon Digital going global. We'll go pretty quickly through all five of these stories get you in and out on the mining news updates in about 10 minutes or so. Let's start off with CleanSpark. This story was circulating on crypto Twitter, so I definitely wanted to pick it up. Uh, according to some filings from the SEC and CleanSpark, the compensation for Zach Bradford, who has appeared on the Mighty Pod a few times, and Matthew Schultz, the president of CleanSpark, was seemingly pretty excessive, about $25 million in stock compensation for Zach and $23 million in compensation for Matthew. And there's also some other things in here, including bonuses and base salary that were awarded by the board. A lot of people got a hold of this on crypto Twitter and started asking a lot of questions. I mean, to be fair, when you're looking at this, you're thinking, wow, that's the size of an NBA salary for one year. Why is a Bitcoin mining company executive getting this sort of compensation? To be fair, CleanSpark has had a great year, but that seems a little too much. So I gave CleanSpark a call and talked about this. And according to them, this is just double counting. It's basically how uh, they had to report things according to their own auditors, their own books and SEC filing. Uh, a lot of these shares were actually counted multiple times. Uh, Zach and Matthew had basically the option to purchase shares at a higher price during the bull market. Those options were then repriced during the bear market and they reported the base value or the book value of both those options on paper, added them up uh, and so you got this really high valuation. Now, it still is a lot of value or still a large compensation, uh, but it's not as high as it is here. It's about $6 million or thereabouts uh, for each person. And based on other miners in the space, other executives, that's in the ballpark. And on top of that, if you look at CleanSpark, they're the only miner to actually hit their hash rate guidance for 2022. And they're really chugging along in 2023. So... Uh, I think there should be like a little bit new, more nuance in this conversation. Definitely something I wanted to bring up uh, for this week's mining news roundup because it was very much so talked about in mining circles. Uh, employee compensation and executive compensation is always going to be a talking point because it is such a small industry and something worth mentioning. Let's move over to Blockstream, which raised $125 million. According to this Coindesk article, they reason a convertible note and a secured loan of financing to expand its Bitcoin mining hosting services. Blockstream, of course, operates a lot of different Bitcoin uh, revenue sources or Bitcoin businesses, I should say, within its side itself. They have the Jade Wallet, they have the Liquid Network, they have their hosting services, and they have other things like their satellite programs and their Bitcoin bonds as well. So a few different things they're working on, but they really have moved into the hosting game more recently. Uh, the highlight for them over the last two years was probably the deal that they're working on with Tesla for some sort of solar-powered Bitcoin mining network program. We haven't heard a lot of news about that in quite a while, uh, but we do know that they are hosting a decent amount of clients and that they're working on expanding, and it seems to be a very profitable business line for them. Uh, so great to see another industry player able to raise some money. The one asterisk or footnote on this that we should definitely place is that they did have to raise at a down round. They also raised in August uh, for a decent amount of money. They raised at a 70% lower valuation, according to Bloomberg, of about $1 billion. And they raised in August for $210 million at a $3.2 billion valuation. That's not that odd because a lot of companies are raising at down valuations at this time. But more money for Blockstream. Let's move over to Celsius Mining, which is storing 20,000 new mining rigs waiting for a new hosting site. This, of course, is just a continuation of the dispute between Celsius Mining and Core Scientific. Celsius Mining is a part of Celsius, the shitcoin factory, and it used that mining arm to earn rewards for its program. It had about 85,000 machines in its fleet. Most of those were hosted with Core Scientific. Core Scientific has been going through Chapter 11, as has Celsius Mining. Core Scientific was able to turn off some of Celsius Mining's rigs because the hosting rates just weren't profitable for Core Scientific and they wanted to adjust those things. Now Celsius Mining is looking to store some rigs and shuffle some rigs to other sites. It looks like they've moved about 17,000 plus so far and are looking at moving more. 
To me, this is just a story about the state of the mining industry. We are still flush with ASICs. ASICs are everywhere. They are cheap, but hosting spots with cheap energy are net are not cheap so much right now. And this is just another story within that. Let's turn back to HUD-8. We're going to talk about a continuing dispute with Validius Power, a power agreement that it's had for quite a while for its North Bay facility. According to a new press release from HUD-8, they're now taking Validius Power to court. They've been working on this deal since about November, if memory serves me correct. And there's just been a dispute between the two companies, which have been working with each other for quite some time. The issue or dispute here is basically the price of the energy. This is pretty common in crypto uh, or in Bitcoin mining, I should say. The difficulty here is that HUD-8 is losing out on revenue. Validius Power doesn't want to turn on the site or has been holding back from energy. And they were working in this behind closed doors, trying to do a settlement or reach a private agreement. But that seems to have fallen through. So they are now going to court. We wish the best for both parties. Hopefully we'll see a resolution to this soon. It's a decent main amount of hash rate under power for HUD-8. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's something you can definitely check out in our mining memo as we write up about this story every once in a while. Okay, last story for the day. Let's talk about Marathon Digital, which filed some new information with the SEC. According to Marathon, they are now working in the Middle East to deploy a lot of different capital in order to increase their hash rate under management. According to the SEC filing, the initial project by the Abu Dhabi Global Markets Company or ADGB entity shall consist of two digital asset mining sites comprising 250 megawatts in Abu Dhabi and an initial equity of ownership in the ADGM entity shall be 80% FSI and 20% of the company or Marathon Digital and the capital contribution shall be made subject to the satisfaction or the waiver of certain conditions during 2023. It's about $406 million being pumped into this. This, of course, if you go back to our, our conversations with Marathon Digital over last year, including a podcast in November with Marathon, see that they've been looking at going international because there is a lot of cheap energy. You don't have to only host the United States. You don't only have to host in Texas. There's other, place, there's, there's other places you can, of course, host. And they've seen that there is a lot of cheap energy in the Middle East, as Americans have found out in the past as well. And they're looking, looking to go global. Best of luck to them. There you go. That's our news roundup for this week. If you have any thoughts or insights, feel free to reach out to media at compassmining.io. We read everything that comes in. We appreciate you taking a listen. If you enjoy the podcast or like getting information from it, please give us a like or a subscription on YouTube or give us a five-star rating on your favorite podcast player. Thanks.